What's up, Buck? I will come feed you after I switch it to the baseball game. Oh, wait. I just remembered. I don't get to watch. I'm going to have to watch reruns for baseball games. Oh, man. We need to get our ball games playing again. Oh, well. I'll have to watch a few of my uh, classics out there. All right, Buck. You gave me that pity face. We're working on Buck's crowd. Oh, 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 he scares me sometimes. Where did I leave that TV remote? Mm. Hey, babe. What? I thought I told you to mow the yard. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll get to it. Man. Well, you heard the boss, so uh, I guess we're going to have to go get this, uh, this Alice. Start mowing our grass around here. It is kind of getting a little thick around here, if you could see. So, uh gonna give it a nice little mow see if this thing uh, yeah. all right yeah. oh yeah starts up all right all right we're just gonna mow around here a little bit put that in here lower that there we go What what's going on here? Uh what 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 just happened? What just happened? Hmm. We'll try to start this thing back up. What is going on? I don't understand why this thing keeps dying. Oh man. That's annoying, so let's see. This thing has seen its day, obviously, so it might need a little TLC. I don't really have time because I should be mowing around here. Hmm. Might take it into the local John Deere dealer, see if they can help me out here. I'll go get my uh, flatbed, maybe? Flatbed should be alright. Just hop over this fence. Reminds me, before I get to all that, I know I'm getting sidetracked. I need to move this over to the other uh, barn. But I think I'll do that in a little bit later. Uh, yeah, I don't know if, if I want to take the GMC. I think I'll take the old, uh, the old classic, I call her. So, uh, I think this will be nice, so, yeah, we'll just take this. We also need to get to some spraying, so we are behind, so, but I think, primarily, we need to mow the grass, but we need to mow our grass field. Hopefully get some, uh, feed for the cattle. That is the plan, anyways, so. Ah, uh, yep. Listen to the old GMC purr. So I'm going to drive this over. You know, I'm going to put that lawnmower on the back. We'll just take it to a local John Deere dealership. Watch out, Buck. I'm going to back up. You just stay where you're at, and I'll go around you, okay? Hey, uh... Literally, you, you don't have to walk in front of me. Hey. Come on! Yeah, just put that horn on just for you, Buck. Alright, uh, I think I left the ramps around here somewhere. Let's go find them. Hello, beautiful. Yeah. 
Looking good. Looking good. Uh, leave him back here, maybe. All right, we got it put on there with the ramp, so I think we're about ready to go. Man, it's really weird how flat that steering wheel is on this old Alice, so it's definitely seen its day. These these are the best lawnmowers made back in the day. That and like Cub Cadets. And they started making the Cub Cadets a little, uh, let's just say, uh, cheap, like the rest of them out there. They don't have the quality they did back in the day, that's for sure. Get heading down to the John Deere dealership for old little uh, Alice. Hopefully they can fix her up for us. Watch out, where? Ah, stupid yellow truck. What are your hurry for? Oh, this is kind of cool. They got the skid steers. Welcome little entrance right here. Yeah, yep, I already bought one of them, sorry. I'm gonna drop this off. Don't know exactly, but I'm sure they're probably gonna want it in their service area here. Back this old truck up. Looks like they have a 332 uh, garden tractor over there. That's kind of nice. Might have to take a look-see. See what we got over there. Alright, so I'm going to get this. I guess they want to back it up just in case. They don't want me falling on my back and the lawnmower squish me right at the dealership. Probably isn't a good thing. I don't see a lot of salesmen bombarding me yet. Ah, a little 332 garden tractor. Ah, it's got a little weight on the front. It would be nice if I could get a loader for this and everything. That would be sweet. Nice little uh, garden tractor. Maybe a back weight too. And I wonder if they have this all. Uh, the key is not in it, unfortunately. Would probably tr start it up. It's got a little bitty trailer right there. Oh, a lot of grain with that trailer. Yep. Oh, 15 bushel. I have no idea if that means it's 15 bushel or not, but I doubt it. I kind of like this. Eh, not a bad looking lawnmower there. Alright, so they said the attachments are in the back or over here. So I got the key, or the key they put in it. Oh yeah, I don't know if I like that uh, right when it first starts off, let's see. Yeah, kind of grindy noise or something, I don't know about that, but we'll see. I don't want to leave a tire mark on their their wall right there. Just drive out the front doors like a boss. Nothing to see here. Alright, let's see. We put down... Alright, I kind of like it. We'll see if we can seal the deal here. I like how your foot goes out. Puts it on the brake here. Get it going enough. Oh, break it. So, uh, I think I kind of like it. Uh, I think I might end up getting a uh, front loader for it, though. Actually, let's go and try to hook up that front loader just to see how it handles it. It would be nice to get a front loader just in case we have grain spillage or something like that. Just, you know, or just the wife wants something, you know, easy, quick to do. Alright, so doesn't look too shabby with the low loader. Uh, we lose a little bit of leg room, but uh, it's kind of nice. Kind of like the little uh, garden tractor. It, we can use it as our wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow and mower. 
work out all right. Yeah, I'll just drive it over here. What do we have right here? Ooh. Me likey. Yeah. So this is a John Deere Moco. Hmm, what is this? A... Where is our number here? Is this a 14 foot, 16 foot? Can't really tell. Uh, it's not going to give me a number. Hmm. Guess we don't get a number. I don't know if... Th I believe this might be a 14 foot. Or... I guess I could lay down across it here and we can just measure. We'll have to ask. But I kind of like this this old uh, moco here. I'm gonna have to ask what they want for this. Do I see a red top over there? I thought I saw a red top. Take our old uh, convenient little stroll around vehicle here. Ooh, yeah. Looks like they're hiding the old red in the shed here. I don't know about this. Man, this is a pretty tractor right here. That is a pretty tractor over there. Alright, let's see. Ooh, keys are in it. Let's see. Oh, it starts. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. This looks... I don't know the year of this, but I'm guessing it's over a hundred thousand. This is a... what is this? A Magnum 115? I believe. Yeah. I mean, it would be super sweet as a motor tractor. I mean, with that... with the how convenient, but I just don't think it's in the cards right now. Maybe someday must have had a trade-in or something and these are waiting to be moved speaking I mean this old uh, international now this might be in the cards now I know my neighbors think I just went green they give me a lot of crap all they said is uh, Stevio just likes the green stuff. He doesn't like the red stuff. He is a bandwagon deer fan, but uh, really I'm not. I don't really even care about any brand, to be honest. I just like the good quality equipment. And International, Case, John Deere, Massey, Alice, they all, there's so many I can't even name them all. They all make good equipment. Almost looks like somebody uh, put that turbo on there. I wonder if this is truly a turbo. Alright, let's see if the key's in this one. Shut the door there. Yep, yeah, there's a key. Uh, gauge works. Uh, not too shabby. Uh, where is this? PTO. It's always interesting to internationals. They have uh, basically controls on both sides. Go forward. Push that throttle forward. There we go. I'm a bad tractor here. Makes me wonder how this thing would look on that old... Uh, John Deere Moco. You know what? I'm gonna go try to hook it up. They might not like it, but I'm gonna try to hook this thing up. Try out their little Moco mower here. I know beans. It's I think it's pretty much new. It's slightly used. I didn't see any war paint on it or anything, so don't think that they're gonna. Like it. Fits on there nicely. 
Yeah, I wonder if I go on the back just to start this up, just to see if this runs all right. Kind of looks good together. You think the International and the John Deere is going to play good together? Try to go this way with it here. Makes a pretty good wind row. Let's see how it looks back here. Hmm. Not too bad. I'm sure I can fold these in somehow. We'll see. All right, shut that off. Oh, man. Let's see what deals we can strike today. All right, so we got it all done. So this thing actually has a little bit of high hours on it. Well, not really for international. So it only had uh, 6,000 hours on it. So it, it was used, but it has new tires on it, fairly new tread. And uh, basically the MoCo here is brand spanking new. So the, it was a uh, pretty penny, but uh, I think we got plenty uh, the dairy will need a good mower to work around the farm, so uh, we're going to have them haul this MoCo to us. So they're going to haul this in our new 1086, this beaut of a tractor. So uh, we got some red on the farm here, and we took it out of the shed, so it's okay. Red can be out of the shed once in a while. So. Uh, it's hooked up to the John Deere, so hopefully they play well together. I'm hoping anyways. Uh, anyway, if not, we'll have to put another uh, John Deere on there. We'll just have to take the duels off. Uh, they did load up my uh, lawn tractor. Got a little squat going on here. Looks like the little lawn tractor has a little uh, weight to her. Surprised it's squatting this old truck. Bales don't even really make it squat that much. Might have to look at the springs on this old girl here. But, uh, we got everything. We signed all the papers. We are good to go, so we'll get headed back here. Uh, yeah. Got a little weight going down there. Got the hood up in the air there. It's okay. Uh... I am going to go down to the gas station down here just to see if we can get some uh, gas to uh, fill up the lawnmower and the truck needs a little uh, diesel here. Man, this is quite the entrance to this gas station here. Ooh, quite the road up there. Oh, yeah. Surprised we didn't lose something. Oh, no. This yellow truck's here. Uh, I'm gonna have to just pump my gas and quiet here. Hopefully he doesn't talk to me. Don't talk to me. You weird person in the yellow truck. I don't know if you're weird or not, but you seem like you are, so I'm not gonna talk to you. Alright. Where's the fuel cap at on this thing? Old diesel, so we just need. Oh, there it is. Put some diesels in the back of here. Nope, oh, I think we can just. Oh, oh, oh. Just act like we don't even know he's over there. Get some diesel, start pumping some gas here. <gasps> uh oh. See something missing. Oh no. I lost my little wagon. My wife's little garden wagon is not nowhere to be found so I'm gonna have to take a trip back here quickly and go try to find that that's not good hopefully it's not in a big ball on the side of the road oh there it is it actually doesn't appear to be that bad put the hazards on here there we go. Yeah, let's see if I can lift this. Uh, get a good grip here. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh man, I had to drop it right there. Okay. We're just gonna take it slow, but uh, don't judge. You can still see my hazards, okay? No one judge. See my turn signals, my brake lights. This, this is completely normal. Nothing to see here. Alright, pull on up here. Just uh, finally getting back with all my... Who is this going out of Cousin's house? Like a fat... Is that... Is that Jim? Now that is odd. <gasps> is Jim and my cousin a thing now? Well, our truck is over there. Jim certainly didn't tell me he was coming over. Hmm. It's like, uh... Jim and the cousin are uh, starting to see each other. I don't know. I guess at least Jim should be able to uh, uh, calm that uh, my cousin down. Hopefully, I don't know. You never know when uh, somebody starts dating your family. You start thinking about them differently. Let's get this lawnmower off of here. All right. So I think we're going to park this for now. We still have to mow the lawn here in a little while. Ooh, ooh, watch out for that. Don't want to hit that uh, T-bird there. Trans Am. That's definitely... I'll just lift this up here. Yeah, yeah. I know, Buck. I'm, the, I'm strong. Strong. There, leave this right here for now. We'll get to mowing that a little bit later. Get away from that muffler, Buck. That's hot. Come on, Buck. Crazy old Buck. I'm gonna see when that uh, shipment is going to be here. Oh, here we go. Looks like he's pulling up right now. We'll get in the Toyota over here. See where he goes. Watch out, Buck. Looks like, ooh, whoa, watch that ditch there, buddy. It's my equipment. Being a little bit crazy there. Not a bad thing. I probably should have just told him I could unload it right over here. Alright, got that unloaded, so they're going to be folding that back up again. So I think I'm going to go right into, uh basically swapping this field over here. Get this folded out here. Start, mow oh. Start mowing around our field here. There we go. Uh, I think I'm cutting right in the middle of our field, but we'll start right over here. Mowing pretty nicely here. We'll do a pass around the opposite side once we're done here. This mower, man, you can take this mower real fast. Got our little ditch halfway there. Ooh, that's not going to be easy carrying them bales across from our uh, falcon field there. We get this old nice and mowed nice and quick. It's a good thing with these uh, mocos. You can freaking fly around the field. Get this mowing done quick. And I don't think we'll mow around this edge here too much. We don't need all this grassland. That's a little uh, mound right there, so basically when the wind blows, that's what it accumulated. We don't want to get all that in our, uh, possibly run our mower into the dirt.
here about uh, five rounds total so man are we getting that brand new moco dirty man i don't like getting it that dirty but oh well we'll have to wash it off here nicely taking a little bit slow around this turn yeah get this nice and slow and then take off right like here so Flying around this field pretty good, so it won't take too long. But I think my cousin called me, and says that she wants to run this, uh, she wants to be inside a cab for once. So she talked me into letting her run this Moco. You know, this is I purchased this Moco, I'd like to use it, but uh, oh well, we could get a few odds and ends done and then start raking this field. So it's not going to turn out too bad, so I'll get her started here. Alright, there she takes off. So, she's taking off pretty good. Her first time mowing in a while. Alright, so I'm going to start over here probably. I know we're driving on some grass here, but she's doing a pretty good job. Making fairly good... Uh, wind rolls here start breaking this field when I'm lost and erased few more hours of raking here I think I'm gonna catch up to my cousin here really quickly and uh, she's gonna have to get on the ball but uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Missouri thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe